Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. There are many religions in this world. And uh, most of the religions that men follow have a book. You uh, get uh, the uh, Islam, they follow the Quran. Uh, you know, Hinduism, they had a book. Buddhists, they have a book that they follow. And then you have Christians, they have the Bible. So uh, the question that you need to ask yourself and be able to answer is what is the difference between uh, the Quran and the Bible? What's the difference between what other men are doing and what you are doing? Because they will ask you, well, what makes you think that your book is right and our book is wrong. So it's important that you are able to uh, give an answer for your faith. For what it is that you believe. Us as true followers of Jesus Christ. We cannot merely follow the Bible. The book. Paul told us in uh I believe it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, that the letter killeth, but it is the spirit that gives life. See, we cannot follow the letter. <clears throat> we must follow the spirit of God. That is the difference between men and, and the children of God. See, men, they follow the letter. They follow a book. But we do not follow a book. We do not follow the letter. Jesus did not say that he is going away so that he may send us the Bible. He said that I go away that I may send you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. So if you want to get to know the true and living God, it's not by the letter that you will find him. It's not by reading a, a book. Yes, uh, the Bible can encourage us. Yes, it is inspired uh, by the Holy Spirit. But it, it, it is not what saves. The Bible will not save anyone. Reading the Bible will not save anyone. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. You must go to him. Cry out to him with a true heart. With uh, brokenness. In a repentant heart. And he will save you. He will open up your understanding. So that you can understand the scriptures. He will come into you. And make his home with you. But if you merely. <clears throat> go to men. And read, uh, read the bible. And are studying uh, different books. And different theologies. And uh, going to seminary schools, these things will only lead to death. Just like Paul warned through the Holy Spirit that the letter killeth, but it is the Spirit that gives life. Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. The word of God is Jesus Christ. If you believe that <clears throat> it is the scriptures that is going to give you life. You are deceived. And you have fallen into Satan's trap. That many people fall into. Because God told us. That not many wise would be saved. That uh, you cannot find him through intellect. And through study. So I, I hope you hear this warning. Because many people. <clears throat> when they want to uh, search for God or they want to seek God, they believe that it is through the Bible that they will find him. But the way that you find Jesus Christ is through surrendering your life to him, forsaking all that you have to seek after him from a true heart and ask him to save you, ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. Be blessed.